Hey guys, welcome to another year. Um, let's just check out how everything's going. Um, so I added some more fluid film, probably early in the, earlier in the year, probably April or May. And just little touch-ups of the parts I could tell were getting kind of bare from over the winter. But um, since then, um, haven't really done a whole lot. So let's see. Right here again. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, looks a little bit dustier than normal, more trips down roads. But you can tell it's definitely on there still, just a nice coating of grime. Um, one thing I did notice is when I applied it the second time, a lot of the uh, really dusty areas with a lot of grime on it before when I applied fluid film the second time it kind of penetrated all that dirt and grime and everything and it just kind of almost slid off the frame again so I guess when you coat it again just be careful because you might have some of that stuff dropping off on you over the course of the next couple days or something but um, one thing I did try differently is they've got a marine grade fluid film and I took off my I guess my nerf bars or burning boards whatever you call them and I I hit the metal pieces here with that and it's really thick stuff it's about like a gel but it's basically it's so thick you have to put it on with almost a putty knife like it goes on in a giant layer uh -oh. So I did the running boards with those. Um, I also did up here in the wheel wells. Um, we got some reinforcement beams here, I guess. But right in front of the tire, if you can see that, it kind of wore pretty thin. It's a lot better than just the regular fluid film. The marine grade seems to stick a lot better, but it's still got kind of blasted off right in front of the tire. Um, a little bit deeper. Looks like it's still on pretty thick. Um, up in the suspension here, um, there's a almost like a caking of it. So I'm guessing when I put some more on this fall, it'll probably help rinse some of that off. Um, but the, the marine grade stuff, so this comes in a little jar, and it's just really thick you just plastered on but yeah I guess overall I think it's working pretty good I haven't seen any rust um <laughs> there were some comments before about a hole in a muffler Let's see if I can get a better shot of it this time around but it's just a little factory we pull but the muffler and it's got some corrosion on it not too bad frame looks good ugly <laughs> definitely not for people who like to have a showroom clean but certainly isn't me um if I can get up underneath here I'm not getting too dirty um to the a-arms there's little holes underneath a-arm for like tooling holes and things like that so I squirt it up in there decently um, I think it's a sway bar torsion bar got that but I swing around to the front end of the vehicle yeah. but but yep it's still it's still telling enough that it's on everything still see if you can focus You can do it. There we go. But yeah, I think I'll get the squirt bottle and just try that too. Looks like it's up in the weld area is good. Try to get those good. I'll hold moisture like crazy.
Yeah, that's what's caked on still. shots of everything um, just basically try to get up in all the little weld creases and everything that might like to trap moisture pretty good so one thing that I found interesting in my other truck is I put fluid film in the doors and a couple months later I noticed these weird bulges in the in the rubber here and so basically, if you shut the door, these line up perfectly with the drain holes that I put some fluid film in. So I know there were a couple questions before, people debating whether it makes rubber expand. Um, I think fluid film site says it has, has issues with natural rubber, but on this GMC, I'm pretty sure they don't use natural rubber in their gaskets, but it still causes it to expand. So, I guess be careful where you spray it. Um, I haven't tried to clean this off yet or not. I mean, I wiped it off, but I didn't use soap and water to try to clean off the, the rubber here. But, yeah, I'd say it's definitely changed it. So, I guess be warned. <laughs> 